In this video, we are going to learn how to see consolidated trace information of all pages of the application rather than seeing each page one by one. So in order to do that, what we need to do is that we need to write uh, again the same trace uh, tag into the web.conf file and uh, we will have to write page output equal to false. Now let me let me do that and let me tell you that. So here is my web.config file. Now you can see that I have written page output equal to false. Now when I will write page output equal to false, then what will happen is that the output of the trace will not come here okay now when I'm going to page 2 still output is not coming however tracing is enabled for this application but output is not appearing okay and this output basically appears when you go to the trace.axd file of the application so here I can go to the trace.axd and then here you will see that all the uh, pages I have navigated is appearing one by one here and I, I am able to see the details also by clicking on the view details link. Now you can see that I am able to uh, see the trace information for respective pages. Now because I had uh, written page output equal to false, so what is happening is that on that particular page the trace output is not coming. But in case we want to see all the trace informations then we need to use trace.axt page. Now trace.axt is a internal handler, trace handler that doesn't physically exist on, in the application. But uh, when we request trace.axt then ASP.NET runtime engine automatically understand that this is the trace handler and it has to provide all the tracing information of, of this particular application. So that's why it is providing all the tracing information one by one and then a request limit is equal to 20 it means that it has to it has to display till 20 requests only so if uh, we will have more than 20 requests then what it will do is that the, the first request will naturally be removed okay so for example if I will made request limit equal to 2 then what will happen let me go back 4 times I have clicked now if I again go to the trace.exe you will notice that the last two requests is only being maintained. So that is the use of basically request limit in the trace uh, at, uh, tag of web.config file. Okay, and the next how to is how to save tracing information into the XML file. Till now we saw that how to see the uh, tracing information on the, on the web pages but now we are going to see that how to save those tracing informations into the XML file or, on, or into the text file. So in order to do that what we need to do is that we need to, we need to add one more attribute into the tracing uh, mm, in, into the trace tag. So let me just copy and paste my code and here you can see that I have written <laughs> write to diagnostic trace is equal to true. Now when we write right to diagnostic text equal to true, what we need to do is that we need to add uh, a listener and that listener basically helps us to write the uh, tracing information uh, in, in the text file or in the XML. So let me copy paste this code as well here and here you can see that uh, I have used two listeners. The first is uh, listeners is uh, text file listener and it is basically of type system dot diagnostic dot text writer uh, trace listener and the second is uh, this one uh, system dot diagnostic dot xml writer trace listener and I have specified uh, the x text file as well as uh, the xml file of for both of these listeners now what will happen is that when we will uh, run this page then all the tracing related informations will be saved into these a te a text file or, or these XML files. Now we may add only one listener or uh, you may add more than one listener. It totally depend, uh, depends on you. So first let me uh, change its uh, uh, basically path so that it will appear into this particular application path. So I am just going to change it. yes yes 
Now remember that there is no XML file or text file here. But as soon as I will run this page, view in browser, and you will notice that now when I will refresh this particular folder, you will see that two uh, files are created here: trace.txt and trace.xml. The same file that I had specified here in the listener. Now let us go to that particular folder. So you can see that I am going to that particular folder and let me just open the trace.txt you can see that all the tracing related informations are coming here now if I will go to the XML file also you will see that all the ex uh, tracing information XML file is appearing here see here all these informations are appearing in, in the XML format so this is the way to basically save the trace related information into the text file or into the XML file